Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I know it's been a long time since the last time I filmed, but um, I'm back. I'm hoping to do a like little build series on this, which is my new toy. It's a Formula SAE car that was originally built by the M Racing team at Michigan State, I think. I guess that's what it is. I haven't really done much research. But, uh, this thing placed 15th in the 2009 championship thing. But since then, they took the motor out and all kinds of stuff. Gutted it for all its good parts. But I just traded... Well, I had a KTM 85SX that I sold... I'll uh, push, show you a picture of that. So, uh, yeah. It's been so long that I've had that bike. Went through it. The uh, YZ over here blew up. Twice. And uh, I got this. It's, um, it's really sick. Uh, to get it running, though, it doesn't run yet. It needs a uh, ECU, and then it should fire up pretty much. And I just got the money in. This is like my little makeshift seat so I could sit in this thing. Um, here, actually, I'm gonna take this stuff out and I'll uh, I'll go into more detail. Hey guys, uh, I don't know why I'm saying hey guys again. I got everything out. Oh, I forgot the firewall. <laughs> As you can tell, pretty much. Gosh, dang it. As you can tell, pretty much nothing is actually bolted down. Actually, everything that's left in this is. But yeah, it's got tons of carbon fiber stuff. The whole body is carbon fiber, steering wheel, carbon fiber. It's pretty sick. Uh. The only things I've really been able to work on, we're trying to, well, here, I'll just tell you real quick. The, um, the guy I bought it from, okay, okay, so the guy I bought it from showed me, uh, not bought, traded it for, he showed me it, uh, it cranked, the water pump worked, the, uh, fuel pump worked, even then I kind of, it wasn't really hooked up in the I had the wrong tank, you can't really see it. But um Yeah, so I've just been trying to figure out how everything went together. I got the fuel pump right here. I don't have a battery in it, so it's not gonna work. I'll plug it in in a minute. And then I got my ignition right there. Oh starter. And then this you know actually the ignition, the starter and then I've got all this stuff, all the gauges, the odometer from this motor that came out of the CBR. Man, I can't speak. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll plug that battery in, show you guys all that, and uh, I guess just tell you what my plan is with this. Okay guys, so I got everything back wired up. The odometer. If you can read that, hold up. 19,000 miles. The lights work and that and that. This one I can't figure out. Uh, the starter button works. And then my water pump works. Uh, it doesn't have any fluids in it, so yeah. Got to do that as one of the final touches. The tires on this thing are shot. I pumped these up like last night. They're completely, completely flat. But uh, yeah, the main goal with this, well, I've always kind of wanted a go-kart with a motorcycle engine ever since I had that one go-kart that you guys have seen. And uh, I saw this guy, uh, I was flipping, or I bought the KTM with intentions of selling it, 
And so I put it up for sale, and the guy was like, hey, do you want two Formula Racing, no, Formula SAE racing cars? And I was like, well, that seems pretty cool. I looked them up, and they were these. And so I contacted the guy, and lo and behold, he had two from Michigan. Uh, one of them actually placed second in 2010, I think. And that one was really sick. But, uh... It, um, God, I can't think. It was way less, uh, finished. So, like, the motor wasn't in it. It was just a bare rolling chassis. The body was in better shape. It had way cooler parts. Like, look, even the, uh, I can't speak, think of anything. But even these were, uh, carbon fiber. Um, and yeah, so... The main goal with this was to get it running, and obviously, well not obviously, but probably try to sell it, but now that I've got it, it's this close, I might keep it for a while. Uh, I'm almost, well I just turned 15, so I'm going to be needing a car like next year, and so I'm thinking I might sell this for a car, or... That one's gone up for sale pretty soon anyways. So I might just keep trying to buy and sell and make money. And have this as just a project slash fun car. And if I do sell this, I might ask the guy if I could come pick up the other one. And keep that again for a future project. Plus it'd be more content. I can make more videos. Uh, this was also going to be like, get back to YouTube. Get back to filming, I guess, hopefully for a while, uh, and all I need, and I just got, I just got some money, so I think I might be able to buy it, but all I need is this ECU, it's like 150 bucks, what is up with this tire, oh, <laughs> I think it came off the beat again, I'm gonna have to get that back on, uh, but yeah, some future videos of this thing, getting it prepared, almost ready to start and drive, coming up. I know this was a long video of just explaining what this is, and I haven't really been saying what I, where I've been. I guess I'll just talk about that every now and then. But with that, peace out. Uh, crazy car thing. Okay, I can't speak. Bye.